Former neighbor Enrique Marquez is reportedly now cooperating with FBI agents who are investigating his relationship with the killers and his purchase of the rifles used in that massacre. Now, the big question tonight, so why hasn't the FBI arrested Enrique Marquez already? Agents have not said a lot about his lengthy relationship or friendship with the shooters or how his guns landed in their hands. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez spoke with an attorney about building the case against Marquez. Enrique Marquez was a close friend of Syed Farouk. The FBI the has confirmed that it was Marquez who bought the two assault-style rifles that Farouk and his wife, Tashfeen Malik, used in the San Bernardino massacre. Marquez has been questioned by the FBI, but the agency will not give any details. Why not? It's appropriate for them to not talk about it. We don't need to know everything right now. Steve Meister, legal expert, longtime prosecutor, and a well-known attorney in Los Angeles. What we need to do is have the law enforcement authorities uphold the Constitution and do their jobs correctly. And Meister said that's exactly what the FBI is doing because of what's at stake moving along very carefully. They're trying to get him to tell them what, the, tell them what he knows. It's not about slipping him up. It's about learning what he knows. And what Marquez knows, according to Meister, could lead to some very serious charges for him. They probably believe he's the surviving member of a conspiracy to commit terrorism and or a conspiracy to commit murder. What we do know is that the FBI is going to be looking at every single thing he did over the last several years to see whether there was a plot and whether he was acting in furtherance of it. So if knowing about it, discussing it, and helping out in any way, shape, or form constitute conspiracy, isn't the gun connection enough to charge Marquez with conspiracy? Yeah, What's the hurry? Do you, want to, do you want to do it fast or do you want to do it right? Marquez is not in custody, which Meister says is an advantage now for the FBI because they can question him all they want without having to read him his Miranda rights. Miranda is triggered by custodial interrogation. He's not in custody, so even though they're interrogating him, they don't have to read him his rights. And there are no reports that Marquez has even hired a lawyer. They can keep talking to him for as long as he wants them to keep talking to him. At any point, can he say, enough's enough, I don't want to talk anymore? Yes. Yes, and he can say, I want my lawyer now, and they have to stop. Again, no indication that that has happened. And how long before the FBI makes a decision on any of this? It doesn't matter how long it goes. What matters is that it's done right. Since the massacre, Marquez has literally dropped from sight. The FBI knows where to find him. Dave Lopez, KCAL 9 News.